<sighs> oh. Hello there, fellow travelers. Oh. We're here in Cancun, Mexico. I think Montezuma's striking his revenge on me. Oh. <laughs> no, he's not. But that does happen to a lot of tourists when they are here in Mexico and other places around the world. So today what we have for you is a, just a helpful video on how to avoid Montezuma's revenge and how you can get Montezuma's revenge, i.e. traveler's diarrhea, okay? Now the first things first, in a place like here in Mexico, you want to re be really, really careful with the water because a lot of times it's bad water that gets you. So if you're here in Mexico or you're in China and stuff like that, do not drink the tap water always drink bottled water. But also think about, what are all the other ways that people use water for me? Maybe it's the ice. You wanna make sure you have ice that's been for, with purified water or distilled water, or, or at least there's some kind of filter, filtered water to make it. Otherwise, you can get sick from that. Here in Cancun, you don't have to worry about the ice. They filter the ice. But the water you drink, that's where you can have some problems. Other places where you might get you know, Montezuma's Revenge to strike you is with undercooked food, okay or food if they have bad water or un, you know not always safe water you might see that they wash you know vegetables or fruits in it and you eat it that way so you be careful with unpeeled fruit and washed vegetables in areas you're not sure about and sometimes you can ask is it okay to eat this here or drink this here i would ask your hotel if you're in a place you're not sure about i would ask them or look online for some forums for your country is it safe to eat the vegetables is it safe to drink the water these kind of things so what I say is, you know, if you're going to some place, you're not sure about the water, just stick with the bottled water, okay? Um, also, do be careful if you're going into the rural countrysides and things like that with food preparation. So if there, there's a salad or something like that, it's okay to say, well, maybe I don't have that. I'll just stick to the cooked meat and stuff like that, which is fine because you have some good stuff there, okay? Now, some other typical places that people get, you know, the 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 tummy trouble, the travels diarrhea, a lot of times it happens when you're eating street food, okay? Here in Mexico, the street food is fantastic. And yes, the locals sometimes get sick from it too, but some of it's so good, you're like, I don't care, it is really great. So when you are checking out the street food, one of the what my locals here has told me is like, look, you wanna know which ones are good or bad or which ones get you sick and not sick? Your best bet is to go to the one that has a line. If there's no line, there's a reason why there's no line, okay? So go to the one with the line, you have a better chance there. I know when I was in China, I used to eat street food all the time and it was hit and miss. It was so good every single time. But two days I'd be fine. Then a the third day I'm running home to the bathroom, okay? And one of the things she one of the things is in China where I had that, in China they, they have a hole in the ground for the bathroom. Here in Mexico, they don't have a hole. It's an actual toilet. But a lot of times the toilet seat is missing, okay? And that's just one of those little quirky things that you have to deal with when you've got tummy trouble, okay? Now, for those of you that are going to places, maybe you're going to Mexico or China or other places, you're not sure if you're gonna get it. I mean, I've had it before in Lithuania, okay? And I didn't know Montezuma even knew where Lithuania was, but he found me there. And so what I recommend you do is bring some Imodium. Okay, Imodium is the stuff that stops up the, the, the diarrhea, okay, when you have that. Have that. Not just one or two things. Bring a whole little container of it just in case. Because I remember the first time I came to Mexico, it took five doses to stop it. I took a sixth one just to be safe, okay? I've traveled with students that in Italy they got it too. And I'm like, here's, you know, they needed it there. So you never know how many you're going to need, so bring that. Another thing you might look at is maybe it's not diarrhea, maybe it's just upset stomach. Look at gas X, okay, like stuff that helps with the gas, but also Pepto Bismol. They actually sell Pepto Bismol here in, in Cancun, so you can get that, which helps your stomach kind of deal with the spices and the different foods and stuff like that. That can really help. Another thing to help you kind of prevent that is make sure you're washing your hands and stuff like that when you go. If you have your anti-back stuff, use that if you want. Have those things out there so you know at least you're doing your part to stay, you know, keep, you're trying to keep yourself from getting sick from those things. Another thing is if you do get sick and you don't have the medicine or you have the medicines, remember the BRAT diet, okay? BRAT, bananas, rice, applesauce, toast. And that toast, there's no butter on the toast, okay? Those are the things you need. You have these highly complex carbs in there to help kind of soak things up and make it feel a little bit better. That is your best bet to do. Also, they're all very easily digestible foods, so if you're going a lot, it's not really gonna hurt on the way out. So just know that. But that's another thing we actually do a lot, especially when our little kids have gotten sick when we've been traveling. We don't give them, we don't wanna give them Imodium because they're three, you don't do that. You know, you, we give them the, the, you know, here's some bananas, here's some toast, let's see what we can do. And those things can really help out. 
Now on the like the drinking side of things, make sure you stay hydrated if you do have traveler's diarrhea with bottled water. You want to stick to bottled water or maybe like a Gatorade kind of thing to kind of replenish yourself. Um, you want to stay away from caffeine and dairy products. Also, I'd recommend not doing the alcohol if you have this because why make things worse than it is? <laughs> you know, so be careful with that. Um, also, if you're going to go places, for example, we went to Peru and we know that in Peru you don't drink the water, but if you're going to hike the Inca Trail, you need to have water sometimes. So we had, you know, the tab, the purification tablets we also had a sterilizer this like UV thing that went in the water we could kind of clean the water out with or you can boil water for at least three minutes like rolling boil for three minutes to kill the stuff that's in there but the best bet is just stick with the bottle of water and just know if Montezuma got you I have felt your pain many many times okay so good luck get well and just know that Sometimes when you have this in other countries, you don't just get to enjoy it when it comes out, but you wipe your butt and the toilet paper goes into the basket on the side so you can enjoy it even longer. Sorry, this is a really disgusting video sometimes, but it's something you need to know about. So travel well, travel safe, big travel, travel hug for you. Hopefully I don't squeeze anything out. <laughs> Bye from Cancun.